I wanted to make a video about um, imaging planes for CT of the elbow. So here we have an elbow, axial images obtained in whatever position they are in, and then there's a radial head fracture by the way. Um, some sagittal and coronal images were attempted. Now look at this sagittal image. It's it has an unusual angle. The, this, this is the cut line for it. I'm not quite sure what this, how this angle was chosen. Uh, and similarly, the coronal is kind of close, but it's, it's unusual, and it makes evaluation of the joint lines very difficult. There's this, this fracture we need to evaluate better. So when you, when you make these things, what you really want to use are the epicondyles of the humerus, which are this is the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle, or here, this is the, in this case, this is the medial and this is the lateral epicondyle. Those are good frames of reference to make coronal and sagittal images because remember, like all MSK exams, we really want to make uh, images orthogonal to the joint and not necessarily uh, to the tabletop, and usually not to the tabletop, and especially in the upper extremity where the arm can move around all over the place. Um, you want to make sure you use the correct imaging plane. So here, uh, this is a, 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 first of all, I made a, a new axial image that was, that accounted for the bend in the arm or the tilt of the arm. And then um, here's the coronal image that was made based on this. You see how it goes through the epicondyles and it's less oblique than this one. Okay. Now it's not, uh, this is accidental in a way that this is horizontal to the tabletop. Ignore the fact that it's, it's flat compared to the table. This was done because the epicondyle position was this way. Similarly, the sagittal is done orthogonal to that. Now compare that to the original sagittal that was made. It's just flipped around maybe, but you can see the radiocapitellar joint and evaluate this fracture very well. And then you can see the ulnar humeral joint very well like that, whereas on this other view it's all angled and skewed. So again, the key are the keys are to uh, based on your axial images to find the epicondyles. Oops. and to draw a line between them and that's going to be the axis that you're going to use for coronal images and orthogonal to that will be for sagittal images. Thank you.